everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about KW. First we're going to define KW, then we're going to derive KW, and then we're going to talk about why it's useful. So first let's talk about what KW is. If you've watched my video on equilibrium constants, then you know that KW is a specific type of equilibrium constant. The W stands for water. KW describes the equilibrium of the dissociation of water. This is extremely important because in the lab, we can dissolve a ton of different stuff in water. Below I've got the equation for KW, so now let's look at where it comes from. Here I've got the dissociation of water. And remember that any equilibrium expression is simply products over reactants. So here, if I write products over reactants, I simply get OH minus times H plus. Remember that liquids and solids are not included in equilibrium constants. H plus and OH minus are considered aqueous because they're separated and dissolved in solution. It's kind of funny to say they're dissolved in solution because they're really just dissolved in a solution of themselves. Anyway, so if I write out the equation for my equilibrium constant and set it equal to the value of my equilibrium constant for water, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, then I can find the individual concentrations of my OH minus and my H plus. I hope you haven't forgotten how to use an ice chart because we're going to use one here pretty quick. If we write out our equation and our ice chart, we'll find that we only have H plus and OH minus on our product side. Water isn't included because it's a liquid. We'll say our initial concentrations are zero and then add X to both, which means that both of our H plus and our OH have the same equilibrium concentrations. If we take the square root of 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, then we get our concentrations for both H plus and OH minus are 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. Now this is in an ideal world, which means our pH would be 7 and both concentrations would be the same. All right. Now let's talk about KW and how it can be useful. There are lots of uses for KW, but one of the most common uses for it in general chemistry is to switch between pH and pOH. If you watch my video on the happy fun wheel, then you'll know that KW is used to convert pH to pOH and vice versa. All right, that's all I have for this video on KW. I hope you found this video helpful. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.